teenager, 16, held in solitary confinement in an adult prison sues government after being locked up for 23 hours a day for three months. An Aboriginal man who was kept in one of Australia's toughest adult maximum security prisons is suing the state for holding him in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day. Wani Arna Edwards was 16 years old when he was locked up for three months in the Charlotte unit of Port Phillip Prison in Melbourne. During his time behind bars, he was let out of his cell for just an hour a day in handcuffs and passed food through a slot, his lawyer Jeremy King alleged in a writ submitted to the Supreme Court on Mr. Edwards' behalf on Thursday. The Charlotte unit at Port Phillip is where the worst of the worst go. The serial killers, the gangland murderers, and then you've got this 16-year-old in there, Mr. King said, according to the age. If you want to crush the humanity out of someone, putting them in solitary confinement in Charlotte is a good way of doing it. Mr. King said his client's treatment at the hands of the government was shameful, the age reported. Mr. Edwards and two other teenagers were transferred from the Parkville Youth Detention Center to Port Phillip in 2012 after a staff member was stabbed in the neck and injured when the inmates tried to escape. It is not suggested that Mr. Edwards stabbed the staff member. The decision to transfer a young person who has been sentenced to a youth justice center to an adult prison is at the sole discretion of the Independent Youth Parole Board, a Department of Justice and Regulation spokesperson told Daily Mail Australia. A young person aged 16 years or over who has been sentenced to a youth justice center can be transferred to an adult prison to serve the remainder of their sentence, according to the Children Youth and Families Act 2005. The Youth Parole Board must be satisfied that the young person's behavior is a threat to the security of the center, and that the young person's behavior cannot be safely controlled in a youth justice center. These decisions are not taken lightly and are made to ensure the safety of staff and all young people in youth justice, the Department of Justice and Regulation spokesperson said. However, Subjecting children to the dark depths of solitary confinement is one of the most harmful things our government can do. It is dangerous, cruel and it should never, ever happen, Victorian Aboriginal Legal Service Chief Executive Wayne Muir said. Mr. King alleged in court documents that his client lost 25 kilograms over his three-month stay in solitary confinement and was not given any educational or reading material. The experience left Mr. Edwards damaged and he suffers flashbacks, nightmares, post-traumatic stress disorder, depression and anxiety. Mr. King alleged in court documents. Former Victorian Ombudsman George Brower led an independent investigation in 2013 regarding the transfer of Mr. Edwards and 14 other children to adult prison. The investigation concluded there were no circumstances that justified placing children in adult prison, and solitary confinement may amount to cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment under international human rights principles. Last month, the Northern Territory government introduced laws banning solitary confinement for children and many believe the Victorian law also needs to change. More than 20 children have been transferred to adult jails the last six years, according to the Human Rights Law Center, the age reported. Under current Victorian law, the parole board is able to transfer a child to an adult prison without providing a reason why. The reason why Mr. Edwards was first jailed cannot be reported for legal reasons. As this matter is currently before a court, the Department of Justice and Regulation is unable to comment, a spokesperson for the Department of Justice and Regulation said. Port Phillip Prison is widely considered to be one of Australia's toughest jails, able to accommodate over 1,000 prisoners and housing a number of notorious criminals. Mass murderer Julian Knight who shot dead seven people and injured 19 more in 1987, is currently serving out seven concurrent life sentences at the prison. As this matter is currently before a court, the Department of Justice and Regulation is unable to comment, a spokesperson told Daily Mail Australia.